Sometimes it feels like the energy you put out there is the energy that you get back from the universe. And this morning I was feeling like today was going to be a really good day thrifting. And I've got an entire box and two bags full of vintage right here from only two stops. And I can't wait to get decorating with a lot of these pieces. Because you know that's my favorite thing about vintage is to style it up when I get home. <music> We are back at my very favorite thrift store in Vancouver, Washington, Retails. I can't get enough of this thrift store. Funny story to tell you real quick. Before the pandemic, my husband Jesse worked from his office space. And one day I went into his office with him to grab something from his desk and he had no decorations. As a joke, I ended up getting him a ceramic cat and he ended up decorating his entire space with ridiculous, adorable vintage kitty pieces. If he was still going into work, I would pick up this little kitty planter for him. I have no idea what his coworkers think of him, but I think it's hilarious. This is such a pretty little container. It's $3.99, it's all hand painted. This looks like it would be a fun project to do with my seven-year-old niece. I think we're gonna have to have a craft day. I don't know if this black porcelain piece is vintage or not, but I like the shape and it's only $2.99, so I'm gonna get it. Better to buy it now than to have regrets later. These look like they are Norwegian pewter. Oh no, they're not. They're actually stamped made in Holland. They are only $1.49 each, so I'm gonna grab the pair. This is a pretty silver plated vase. Oh, it's Avon silver plate. Not gonna get it, it's $3.99, but probably only worth about 10 bucks. But I am gonna grab this pair of pretty little brass vases. They are $3.99 each. Here is a pair of really heavy brass wall sconce candle holders. These are $9.99 each, but I think that they're pretty fantastic, so I'm going to get them both. This looks like it might be Italian pottery. Maybe? No, it's not. This is from Ecuador. Too many chips, but it's a beautiful piece. This looks like it could possibly be a mid-century fruit bowl. Now that I have it in my hand, I'm not sure. It's $3.99 and it does have a coating on it. And I think typically they don't have this coating over the metal, but I like the shape on it and I think I'm gonna risk it. It might be vintage. Look at this cute little vintage stove right here. Let's see what they have on it. Oh, sad, it's not for sale. They just use this one for display, I guess, but it is very cute. I always go look at their plate section. I found an entire set of vintage Finland of Arabia dishes here once, and I also just found a great set of 1980s Mikasa plates. So I never skip this aisle because you never know what you're gonna find. I have sold this mid-century pot several times in my shop before. I'm not going to pick up this one today because it's $7.99, but this is a classic mid-century pot. If you ever need a muffin pan or a bunk cake pan, this is the place to come. 
I have a set of these trays. I think ours were originally from World War II and we have four of them that we take camping. They are great to take camping because you don't need to have separate bowls. You can just put your baked beans in one of the little nooks. And maybe I really like them because I was homeschooled and I always wanted to go to a cafeteria to have lunch. And these make me think of cafeterias. I had to set my phone down while I was looking through the jewelry because I needed both hands to dig through it and I found these three great pieces of jewelry. No sterling today, but I am super happy with my haul. As usual, I love retails. I want to thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. When I first heard about StoryWorth, the only thing I had to try to figure out was who am I going to do this with first? And I chose my sister. My sister and I have been best buddies since we were little kids, and I really wanted to do something special for her and something that could bring the two of us even closer together. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones connect through sharing stories and memories and preserve them for years to come. These books can be passed down from generation to generation, making sure that these special stories don't get lost. You can send a StoryWorth book to anyone in your life that is special, and every week StoryWorth will email them a thought-provoking question of your choice from a vast pool of possible options. And you get to enjoy reading all the answers to those questions. And after the year is over, StoryWorth compiles all of the questions and stories, including the photos, into a beautiful keepsake book you and your family can share for generations. My sister and I had a wonderful time going through photos and each week I know she was looking forward to getting that question from me and I was looking forward to which one I was going to send her. This was volume number one in a whole lifetime to come and it's just such a special thing for my sister and I to have shared together. The stories of our family and our past are so important and unfortunately so many times those stories get lost. And that is where StoryWorth comes in. Everyone's story deserves to be told and preserved. And I think that StoryWorth would be the most special gift for you to give to anyone for Mother's Day or even just somebody that you love and care about in your life and you wanna do something special for them. It would make a great Father's Day gift too, which is just around the corner. Go to storyworth.com slash left coast to save $10 off your first purchase. Next up, we are headed to the 4th Plain Goodwill in Vancouver, Washington, and we are going to check out their smalls. I know a lot of the Goodwills have been putting out tons of new inventory on their shelves. I adore Southwestern pottery. This is probably a 1980s or 1990s piece. It is not valuable other than for its beauty. I love the texture and the colors on this. And this taller vase up here is kind of cool because it looks like it's carved sandstone. It is not. This is actually a texture applied to the vase, but it's only $1.99. And I think these two vases would look really good paired together. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is to style up all of these finds. I can't believe that they have Christmas decorations out in spring. This is not very typical of Goodwills in my area. Typically after January, they put these away. But today I'm not going to complain because this is a beautiful hand-painted Mexican pottery nativity set. And now we just have to hope that all of the pieces are here. I'm gonna get this little cylinder marble candle holder for myself. It is only $3.99 and later in the video, I'm gonna show you my little marble collection. I don't know why I like this candle holder, but for some reason I really do. And I think I'm gonna get it. It doesn't have a price tag on it, but we're gonna take it up to the front counter and see if we can get a price for it. This is such a sweet little vintage pewter tea set. And look at the little acorn on the top of this lid. I'm not gonna get them today because they don't quite fit my style, but I thought they were really cute and I wanted to show you.
This looks like it is probably Lennox. It is, and it's $9.99. I actually think I'm gonna get this one. I really like the shape on it. It's very pretty. What on earth is this? It looks like an old Oregon Trail covered wagon. They've got $24.99 on it and it says covered wagon table. How funny is this? See, you never know what you're going to find when you go thrifting. Never would have thought I'd find a covered wagon table, but there you go. There it is right there in Goodwill. We've been looking for a small electric vintage fireplace for in our basement. This one's not quite my style, but sometimes I like to look things up just to see what they are. This one is not vintage. You can get it brand new on Amazon for $50. Not what I'm looking for, so the hunt continues. Sometimes it feels like the energy you put out there is the energy that you get back from the universe. And this morning I was feeling like today was going to be a really good day thrifting. And I've got an entire box and two bags full of vintage right here from only two stops. And I can't wait to get decorating with a lot of these pieces because you know that's my favorite thing about vintage is to style it up when I get home. I'm going to start with this fruit basket from Retails. Now when I first spotted this, I was convinced it's got to be a designer piece. But Deep down, I knew it might be a newer made piece and I thought Ikea, possibly vintage Ikea was my first guess, but I Google image searched it and you guys, this is from Amazon and it's only like $25 right now. I'm keeping it for myself because I think it's a fantastic designed piece and it looks very inspired by a lot of the 1960s designers who made some beautiful chrome and brass tables. I think it's fun and different and it actually feels really, really heavy and it is a quality made piece. So even though it's new and it was purchased probably off of Amazon, I think it's cool and I'm gonna use it in my kitchen. I'm always picking up brass and one of my favorite things about brass is the patina. Now I know a lot of times brass gets that really green and really oxidized patina on it and it doesn't look good, but sometimes it gets this beautiful, perfectly even patina like these beautiful candle holders. And I think that is so beautiful. These are very solid well-made pieces and they were made in India. I paid $9.99 for each of them, but this is something that I should expect to be able to get around $100 for the pair. What's so fun to me about pieces like this is that they work in a very bohemian setting. I mean, you could have a very like boho Moroccan style and these would look amazing. I always pick up classic pieces like this because they can be mixed into almost any style. I thought the shape on these pewter candle holders was really fun. There's quite a bit of wax on there that needs to be cleaned up, but these have a stamp on the bottom that they were made in Holland and they were only $1.49 each. That is such a good deal. And this is one of the reasons I love retails. You can get good deals at retails. some more perfectly aged brass. These have beautiful etched flowers on them and they are gonna be really hard to sell. I find etched brass all the time, but every once in a while I find a piece that I've never come across before, like these specific ones, and I love the fluted shape on them and the pretty bohemian flowers. I might have to keep these. They were only $3.99 each. Not sure what it is that I love so much about this vase. It was $2.99 and it's a beautiful porcelain vase. And I think that I'm gonna be able to get all of these little scuffs on here off. Can you see these little scuffs? I'm pretty sure that I can get those off with a magic eraser. I'll give that a try and see how that turns out. I thought that this had a unique shape to it and I really like the texture on it. This is a really good type of piece to mix in with other pottery that has a little bit different texture and size and shape to it. I picked up just three pieces 
pieces of jewelry. This one was $4.99 and it is a tooled leather cuff bracelet and it has a pretty little leaf design in it. So I thought that that was a good deal. And then this one is just a costume piece, but I really love the brass woven mesh. I think it's super pretty. It's got these three panels with tiger's eye stones in it. And it was only $3.49. And then for only $2.99, this hand painted Chinese cloisonne bangle. I thought that the colors were really pretty and the floral design. I actually really love these pieces. They are not extremely valuable, but I think that they are so pretty and I just love to stack them with a whole bunch of patterns and colors. Now we are gonna move on to our Goodwill finds. So I'm gonna show you these two together because when I picked them out, I bought both of them to go together. I love Southwestern Pottery and I think the two of these complement each other so well. They both have a desert speckled sand type of finish on them and I think that they are gonna look so good styled up. I'm gonna be selling these as a pair. I found them together and I think that they need to stay together. I picked up this wooden piece because I am currently working on a makeover episode of our Breeze and I thought that this would look really pretty with little tea light candles in it at night with the candlelight flickering through these little slits. So this one was only $2.99 and it looks like somebody just made this in their wood shop. I don't think this was a mass produced piece and we'll see how this turns out. So stay tuned for that episode. It's coming very soon. Apparently now Goodwill has Christmas out year round because they had an entire Christmas section and it is spring right now. But I was actually happy about that because I found this beautiful hand painted Mexican pottery nativity set. I will pull these out inside and set it up so you can see how beautiful these are. After I show you how beautiful these are, I'm gonna get them put away and they will be coming to my December holiday sale. Every once in a while, I pick up a piece of vintage Lennox. I feel like it's probably been a year or two since I found one that I really liked the design and the shape on. This one is so pretty. Look at this top fluted area. It has a very art deco feel to the design of it. And that's why I picked it up. These pieces are very quality made and they are highly collectible. I paid $9.99 for it. I will do a little bit of research and pop in a picture up here to show you what I might expect to get for a return on this. It's not not going to be a ton of profit margins, but again, it's a beautiful piece. Honestly, sometimes I pick up vintage pieces that I just want to style up and I think will be fun to photograph. Since Jesse and I decided not to go with marble countertops and we went with a concrete look in our kitchen, it's been really fun to start picking up and collecting vintage marble pieces. This is a candle holder and it's this beautiful pale Carrara marble and it was only $3.99. And the great thing about this one is you can put a tea light in here, but it also has a slot carved out in the bottom so you can put a regular candle stick in it too. That is a wrap for today's episode. I would love to hear what your favorite thing that I found today was, and I wanna know what you are finding in your area. So please comment below with what your best thrift find this week has been, and I will see you guys in a brand new episode soon.